Hey guys. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna set up the Hutu Titan. I've already got it turned on just so it kind of creates the network and goes through booting up. Before I do that, I wanna, I'm gonna connect it to my network, Yolanda, and I'm gonna do a quick speed test on Bing, just so we can see what we're starting with. That was one I just ran before that, but that's a big difference. So we'll just let that run. And then I'm going to connect to the network that the Hutu makes, set up a bridge network with my Yolanda network, and then we'll do a speed test there. So you'll get to see the process of setting it up and then what the network actually looks like speed-wise. Because if you're in a hotel and you're setting one of these up, you want to have good speed. Like, why even do it if you're going to be losing 10% or 50% of your bandwidth? So it looks like we got our numbers. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Hutu. I've already tried doing this, and so it it's, may not prompt me for a password, but I did reset this just so we can go through the process again. So it looks like it's requiring logon information. Let's see what that does. Okay. I'm just going to go to the IP address that was provided in the directions. You just hit, first time logging in, you just hit log on. Admin, there's no password. Admin's a lot of username. So you're going to get into this little website that has where you can explore any drives you have attached to this thing. And you can also get into the settings. So we'll go into the settings. One thing you want to look at, um, you want to go into, let's see, system settings and firmware upgrade. Find out if you have the most current version. So... This is what came with it, and it looks like .064 is the most up-to-date. So I'm going to have to do a firmware upgrade, but we'll just see what this is like on this fir on the, the uh, firmware that it came with. So we're going to start the process of getting it set up on my network and creating a bridge network by going to the wizard settings. Next then it's going to just search around me, try to find networks, and I'm going to look for Yolanda. There's Yolanda. If you don't mind, I'm going to bring this off the screen real quick so I can type in my password, because for some reason, it doesn't, it shows the text. So you, while you're typing it, it shows it. So I'm going to go to next once I typed it in. Got all these settings. Looks like we could change, you know, the mode. We'll change this to video folder test. Select the channel. I'm going to do auto. I do live in an apartment, so it might be a good idea to do some testing there and see what the best channel is. You could change the default IP address for the admin screen, but I don't care about that right now. Let's just get it set up. We'll do next. I'm going to leave the password as the same. Let's see if it'll let me. And again, that is for, I guess, the admin. So now it takes two minutes to reboot <clears throat> and get everything set up. As you can see, it's blinking and doing a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to leave it that way, and we will come back. All right, so we have seven seconds left of this two-minute reboot. Now just a solid light. Let's see what we're connected to. We're connected to Yolanda. So we did reboot, and then my computer automatically connected to Yolanda. You can't see that. Actually, you can see that up there. That's okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and reconnect to video folder. I left the password the same, so it's eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Getting connected. I don't know what this is. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and try a website and see what happens. Alright. Google News. Nothing. Alright, let me try to disconnect. Reconnect. Still not letting me go anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to try to reboot this myself. It's got a really cool thing that it does when it reboots. It kind of count, counts down the battery lights until it reboots. That was horrible. I'll turn it back on. So it's going to count them up. It's already really warm on the button. Blinking. Waiting to see the network show up. You got the solid light. All right, connect again. And try it. It's not working. I think we may have to go in and manually select the network again. It's already going to have the password in there, so we'll save that and let it go through the whole saving process. It's not flashing the lights, so we're not getting a reboot again. It just has to save it on the system again. Now, again, I am running the old firmware, so oh, we got a green light. It's green now. That must mean that it's connected to the internet. It was blue. So I'm just going to let this finish and then we'll try the thing again. Just perform another speed test. Looks like it's working. Awesome. Okay, so speed test. So before we were getting 16, 11 down, or 16 up, 11 down. Now we're getting around four, five down, it looks like. And five or six up. Ooh. Let's run that again just for fun. Okay, so it's consistent. I'm going to go ahead and install the new firmware, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 